that because you are a, a politician or because you are a friend of the president or because you are a relative of the president, you are not prosecuted. That one I have said in public. And I have told every uh, cabinet minister, nobody should go to their office and tell them the president has sent them or they are a relative of uh, Mr. X or Mr. Y. I will not send anybody to any office to do anything. No. They must do their job in accordance with the law. Mr. Morris, you Unamaanisha kwamba hakuna pesa zote za mtoto ushauri zilizopotea katika kesi hii inayohusiana na mabao ya Aurora na Kimwarora. Sisi ndio tulipoteza hiyo pesa kwa sababu serikali wakati ilienda ikasimamisha hawa hawa ma contractor the contractors. The contractors went to court. Right? Because they hadn't committed any crime. Number one, we were supposed to give them land to do the dam. You know? We didn't give them the land. The land was there, but somehow, and I don't want to accuse, we, I think we have said, let's, let's, let's not talk about the past. Whoever was there decided they should not get the land because they wanted to frustrate the project. The, the land, the, the, the thing disappeared. The DCI was mobilized to go and get the contractor in Itari. Hmm. You know, the, up to today, nobody knows what the problem was with Itari. They went to court. We have had to go and negotiate. I have had to go, I have had to go and negotiate with Italy mm -hmm. for your information. For us to settle, because we were going to pay 40 billion for nothing, without anything on the ground. So we've had to negotiate. So, so, so then, is there, is there a correlation between your negotiations with the Italian government, and the president was actually here, uh, of Italy, that is. Is there a relationship between that and the withdrawal of charges against all these accused persons? No. Ask the court. I um, mean, the, the, uh, the, the court has been going on. Yeah. What did the court say? There were no witnesses. Because the, what happened? The court the witnesses... said this was a prosecution driven acquittal hmm. because there's no longer any cooperation. And the reason I'm asking this question is because you stood at the steps of the front of this building mm. and you say that uh, you have agreed with the president of Italy to withdraw all cases against um, the farms in Italy and Italy was also going uh, to withdraw all cases against the government of Kenya. Correct. So I'm asking the question because initially there were several people that had been um, presented before court. Some of them I think even the current central bank uh, governor uh, Kamau Thuge. Is there a relationship? Because you said withdrawal will be done. When we is, talked about... Is there a consequence? No. What we said about the withdrawal was they took us to court in London. We made a counterclaim just to make sure that we are not, we are not, uh, we are not exposed. Mm -hmm. So when we made the counterclaim, then that's how the case was continuing. So we said, for that matter, they are going to withdraw their case in, in, uh, in the arbitration court. We were going to do the same. It had nothing to do with the cases in Kenya because the cases in Kenya were criminal. The cases in, uh, in the arbitration were contractual. So these were very different <coughs> cases. So the case has been going on in the Kenyan courts, mention after mention. I mean, and by the way, those cases were going on even before I came to office. They, were, they had been there for three years mm -hmm. and it hadn't moved one inch. Why? Do you think there was any feasibility study done on, on the two dams? Do you know of any? That is now for you to determine. No, I'm asking because, you. I mean, I mean you, you have all the information because you know, you know that there was supposed to be a feasibility <laughs> no, study. You I, must I, be having the information. I don't have the information. You're the president you, of you Kenya. Should, you should be having the feasibility study. What I can tell terms. you is that that contract of Kimwaren and Aror was signed with other contracts, mm -hmm. similar contracts, in the front of State House here, in the presence of the president then. I wasn't even there. And that's what I'm asking. Those contracts were signed. That's what I'm asking you. Are you aware of any feasibility study for the two? I am aware that the contracts were as legitimate as they were signed. Okay. They were signed before two heads of uh, government okay. at that point in time. So, and if there was any problem with them, it should have come out in court. The, the reason I'm asking that is because you then, I don't know, should I conclude that you don't have any information of any feasibility study? Because if there was none, then that is contrary to procurement law. If you, if you know that there was none, 
I'm asking, I don't know. No, if you don't know, why are you asking? I'm asking <laughs> you. No, which I, mean, I don't know. Why are you making an assertion on something that you don't I've know? I've asked you a question. I, you, what I, what I can tell you is that, to the best of my knowledge, 